Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Sunday the 2nd of October. I want to use the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot today. I think I used these cards recently but I just, uh, they feel right today for this reading. So let's see what the cards have to say about Sunday. I just want to show you some of these again before I choose three cards. So let's have a look at what these tarot cards have to say about Sunday the 2nd of October and the type of energy you can expect. So we've got the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and Temperance. Okay, that's a really good combination. The, when the Nine of Pentacles appears, it signals an opportunity for you to do work that is really productive and that benefits you greatly. So in the card, you can see a young woman who's elegantly and beautifully dressed. She's got the symbol for the king here on her dress. She's holding this falcon in her hand. And the falcon is this bird of prey that needs a lot of discipline in order to, it needs to be trained to hunt and to come back and to do all these things. So she's someone who's in a situation that's stable enough where she can wake up every day and go down to the, I don't know, falconry and do the training, come back the next day and develop a relationship that requires time and money and safety and um, leisure time and for other needs to be met. So this card showing up today indicates that you can do really good work which is going to pay off in one way or another. So either you can uh, work and make money, quite literally. Pentacles is the element of earth, so it has to do with your career and your finances. It also means you can work on your environment and improve it. Anything that requires discipline, hard work, consistency, uh, sorry, consistency, you're able to look at that, get really organized, work hard, and see great results. So I know it's a Sunday and most people aren't going to be working, but what is it that you need to work on? Do you need to do your taxes? Do you, are you thinking of kind of um, working in a new routine into your schedule? Do you want to change the way you work? Ultimately, be productive and work towards something. The results and the outcome is really going to work in your favor. So that's saying don't just take the day to relax. Also be um, really productive in a particular area. Next, we've got the Queen of Swords. This woman is a judge. She's very good at making difficult decisions. She sees the bigger picture. She's objective. She's not biased. And she goes on the facts. So this is a woman who sees very clearly and very far. So she has a lot of influence. What she says is the law, quite literally, I suppose, if she's a judge. Yeah, but she's also the queen. So she's in charge of the well-being of other people and she's a great leader. She's able to look at situations, see what the problem actually is and what to do in order to obtain freedom for herself and for the people she rules. So hard work and a total clarity of vision. And when you combine these two, you can get a lot done. So if anything is confusing to you, anything on your to-do list that needs a lot of work and you've put it off because you just can't make heads or tails of it, this is the day to approach that kind of task. You see right to the solution, you get rid of the nonsense and you do work that is super, super effective. So it could be chicken or egg, you know, is the work really good because you're seeing things so clearly or are you making amazing decisions because you're focused on grit and determination and doing the right thing and working hard? Ultimately, it works in your favor both ways. Um, it could even be like if you have to prepare for anything legal or if you have to write a speech or if you have to make a presentation, work on that today. She governs, um, the Queen of Swords governs ideas and the media and the public and communication back and forth and understanding and even debate. Finally, we've got temperance. Temperance shows this angel dipping its toe in the water and she's kind of balancing the water eternally and this path to enlightenment appears. In this case, it's the sun either rising or setting. I'm going to choose to say it's rising because everything's kind of faint. 
Um, so what this is, it means that on a spiritual level, you're in an in a very good spot. You feel connected to your higher self, your guides, your angels, and you're asking the big questions. You're dipping your toe in the water of self, so your intuition is kind of having a discussion with your higher self, and the purpose of it is understanding where you want to go in life. It's kind of like a, 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 a pit, a, well, the major arcana goes from zero, the fool, all the way, it, it then starts with the magician and the high priestess, and it goes all the way to the world, 21 cards, and it's this journey through life. By the time you get to the 14th card, you realize that sometimes you have to let go of control. You don't understand everything that's happening in your life, nor can you control it. So we've got the sun, which represents your conscious identity and what you can control. That's on the forehead of this angel. So it's almost like you trade in your identity or you let your identity and what you're doing be scrutinized by something invisible that feels positive, like your higher self, like your guides. That process then balances you where there's emotional equilibrium, where you can then dip your toe in the water and say, what is it I'm feeling? What is important to me? What decisions do I want to make about my work? Or how do I want to work on my decisions to get to a place of control and happiness in future where I feel like I can take charge of my life? So I think one question is, first of all, what is in my control and what is outside of my control? And then looking at the stuff you can control and saying, okay, if I apply myself to these things, I'll make a lot of headway. I'll understand things much more clearly. And I narrow down the scope so that I'm very specific in knowing what actions I'm going to take and what outcomes they'll have. So this is the perfect day to kind of make plans for the future, to, to schedule things in, to get structured, to get organized, and to feel a real sense of... I've got both feet firmly planted on the ground here. I know what I'm doing. Um, and that's really, I think, the key. I think that's the, the gift of the day, that you understand where you're at and what you want without any doubt. It's crystal clear. And then you're willing to roll up your sleeves and you're willing to do the work. The fact that we've got three women delivering this message, it's the, the, the energy of the day is going to be really strong. There'll be opportunities to do work that show up or you'll be prompted by your ideas or your feelings during the day to look at what needs doing and to then do it. You're going to be overly critical without thinking about it. So it's not like you wake up and say, okay, what do I make sense of today? You naturally just feel this inclination of the Queen of Swords to say, okay, let me have a really clear look at things in order to understand them so that the work I'm doing is actually a good use of my time and has a payoff and not just a waste. And then finally, this feeling of contentment and being held by the hand and supported and guided through life, that's really important because often this is what's required to... to to get to have courage, first and foremost, to then make decisions about your life and the bigger picture, which to most people is really important and really personal. So it's, it's about going with the flow, tapping into what is. You don't need to force anything here. You don't need to make an effort. The day will provide these opportunities. It's, it's super interesting, actually. And also, because all these... Um, female characters are in the cards here, there, there will be relationships, people calling you on the phone, maybe requesting help, bumping into friends when you're out and about anyway. So I don't think you have to try very hard at all. I think it's just allowing things to ha happen, deliberately not making an effort, and just going with the flow and seeing where the day leads you, and then applying all these talents in those areas. Number-wise, we've got 14 and 1, that's 15, and 9 is 24. Two and four is six, and six is the opportunity or deliberately creating the opportunity to see things clearly, to do the work, and to create a greater sense of purpose and direction through the little things you put in place today. So it's a, it's 
a wonderful opportunity to really make yourself feel safer and more organized in your life, like you really know what you're doing. So if things like that can cause you anxiety or you need to know exactly where you're at. So if you tend to be a, a bit obsessive about the details and if not everything is worked out, then you get nervous and you feel kind of uncertain. This is a, a good day to kind of tick all those boxes and to have a very satisfying list at the end of it where everything is in place. That kind of thing, by the way, I don't think is such a great habit to get into because again, the, the big thing is what can I control and what can't I control? And there's no point on working on things that are outside of my control. And that often is forgotten or is difficult to, that's the key thing there. So that's the big question of the day. I hope you have a wonderful time. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to audio reading with me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.